Greetings, friends, and welcome back. You wish to see me face with I'm Fwa. What? It is good to see you, young executor. Phoenix. Oh. How can this be? How it can this be? Clone personality that was used for the purifier prototype. Given your nice. friendship with the source personality, I thought, well, he believes he was brought from stasis and made a dragoon. Robots are people too, Artanis. Why are you here, Phoenix? I was given a directive by Ongaris himself to come to Glacius and serve the Templar. It is the last recollection from his memory web. The Great Templar were still encoded by order of the Conclave. Do you know about the experimentation done on Glacius? Nice. Why Aldaris gave you this order? I am a warrior, old friend. You know this as well as any. It is not my place to question the order of adjudicator. This construction is highly advanced. An Adanium shell composed of a trillic compression mesh. It appears he was to be the first in a revival of the ancient program. Enough! I have fought far too long for the will of the Conclave to be examined like some specimen. I am Templar, and I am reunited with the dearest of friends. Is this not a glorious day? Ah. Uh. <laughs> you are right, of course. Karax, these tests are no longer needed. Phoenix, welcome aboard the Spear of Adun. Who can compete with bro love? Uh, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing, man. I still remember killing Phoenix. That was, that was some shit back in the day. Phoenix, ah, uh, yeah. Let's uh, let's talk. You and I have stood shoulder to shoulder, blades drawn in the heat of battle countless times, and now you lead the Protoss. I will with pride at the mere thought of it. Don't fist bump me, bro. I was bruh. chosen to represent the hierarchy by the remaining judicators and the clans of the Nerezim. I am still honored by their choice. Tassadar must be proud as well. Ouch. Tassadar is gone, Phoenix. Whoa, we just sugarcoated Artanis. Bravely sacrificing for his people. He saved us from annihilation. What? It. It cannot be. And I. It's got some logic sensors up in there. Serve as well. It has. How long have I lingered in stasis, becoming this dragoon? Do you know of the purifier program, Phoenix? Of course. The greatest Templar minds replicated dangerous machines that had to be shut down. They were shut down, but we have never ceased the research and still have tried to find ways to replicate uh -oh. our greatest technology. Dangerous Templar ground, sir. To use that ancient technology. Why do you tell me this? No reason. I. I. We are facing a war like none we have seen before. We will need you in the days ahead. Maybe even the purifiers. Then my blades are yours. Oh, <laughs> Well, at least he's easy to get riled up in, in the good way. Any technology our people have previously conceived. The replication data is the sort that allows accurate duplication of one's consciousness. Phoenix's personality may be accurate. How accurate? Within the 99th percentile. So there is a chance for discrepancy. Quite a minuscule one. And in a lifetime, how many choices does that variation impact? Who would you be with such a difference in the decisions you've made? Keep a watchful eye on Phoenix. If he is to help us, I want to know who he is. Like you could tell what Phoenix would do if he were actually there. Alright, let's look at some juicy stuff in here. We, we know what it we is. We're just kind of teasing ourselves. Technology for review. Ooh, okay. We have a sentry and an energizer. Abilities, restore shields to two friendly units simultaneously. What? 
Decrease damage to nearby friendly units. Yes. We've seen it in action. The medics of the Protoss world. What? Increase target friendly units attack speed and movement speed by 50% for 10 seconds. Phasing mode. Transforms the energy and endurance of power field as if it were a pylon. Okay. So... All of that is awesome. Uh, we'll come back. Oh, there's more. Carax has utilized data from glaciers oh. to bring the robotic sentinels online. Use them wisely, Hierarch. The enemy shall be purified. Charges into battle intercepts enemy ground units. Revives after taking fatal damage. Well, that's not fair. This effect can only occur once every 120 seconds. Wow. These guys... That's pretty awesome. And Zealots are generally just kind of a hit point sink. Alright. Uh, yeah, we're just going to leave these Energizer modes on in case I forget to update for the next battle. Forces are conquering system after system. We must choose our plan of attack carefully, Hierarch. I wasn't Seeing planning Phoenix on doing that. Once more perplexes me. I feel sadness, but I should feel joy. It is said the warrior Phoenix was felled by the Queen of Blades. This approximation is not Phoenix, but he is a reminder. He was killed by a queen. Losses. His voice, As I recall it. Thoughts, his very presence. He describes memories we shared with such vivid recollection. Every instinct I have tells me that this is my friend. Every instinct but, but logic. Logic defies it. We of the Nerazine often ponder whether our people are the sum total of their experiences or are more than them. A truth lingering inside us. In time, we shall see if this phoenix has his own truth, or is little more than a flawed forgery. Rough. How would you feel about that? It wouldn't help, I'm sure. Solar core data. Hierarch, I see the master construction of the Zelnaga now. They're understanding that energy, essence, and information are all one. Each interchangeable, each mutable. Then you uncovered the information Zeratul foresaw within this keystone. I have. From what I understand, it will lead us to Ulnar. Ulnar. It is a place of myth. A realm whispered of in our legends. The home world of the Selnaga. I believe the Keystone can project its location. Show me, Karax. Survive within such unrelenting forces. It appears I have failed you, Hierarch. I do not believe so, Karax. It is said that the Zelnaga <laughs> came from a place where no life should be. This aligns with Zeratul's prophecies. We will go in. Make preparations at once. Obviously, not a great idea, but. Zeratul, Dark God. Many thought you mad. Once more, you have seen truer than us all. Uh, the keystone or they all think I'm the mad. Altarian rift to the Zelnaga home of Ulnar. It is my destiny to carry your mantle, old friend. I will wake the Zelnaga and honor your legacy. Wouldn't it be awesome if he was actually wrong and this was the end? You just hit travel and everyone died. Uh, yes, the Phoenix. 
the High Templar. Alright, these are all good units. Let's go. How bad could unrelenting forces where you know I would actually be in this uh, jellyfish nebula? It's like there's a cave behind the waterfall. Oh, it is nice to see Phoenix again, though. Regret. I always regretted killing him. Yeah, talk to me, Phoenix. Phoenix. You appear distressed. Apologies, Hierarch. I have been pondering the events that brought me here. I have discovered there are holes in my memory. Battles recorded here in the ship's archives that I should be able to recall, but cannot. What is it you have found? Records of my defeat at Antioch and being revived as a dragoon. But this body, it is clear to me that I am no dragoon. There is more totally to a weapons, Phoenix. Yeah, man. But what you uncover may not be desirable. I am willing to face the truth, old friend, however difficult it may be. Then I hope you find the answers you seek. I pretty much told him I know what it is, but... How Zeratul foresaw the keystone would lead us here is uncanny. It is now clear that it was this device's primary purpose. Zeratul was in touch with an expression of reality beyond my understanding. This place should not exist. It defies all decrees of science, shatters all understanding of astral mechanics. I once thought we Protoss had reached the pinnacle of attainable knowledge. I was a fool. There is far more in the galaxy than exists within Protoss understanding, friend Carax. I know this now. Alright. Well, let's see what the mission is. Can't just sit around talking all day. Temple of Unification. The Spear of Adun's sensors have located what appears to be an access way into the temple. Our starships are prepared to move on your command. Alright, Nexus Point established. Analyzing stuff. Phoenix is. Destroy the Titanic Warp Prism in less than 10 minutes. Lockdown type. Take control of a celestial lock in less than six minutes and hold it for the duration of the mission. So there's some holding and swift attack, and there is a titanic warp prism. Well, let's look at our army. I believe the Annihilator. It's going to be a good choice against titanic warp prisms since it can't normally shoot ground stuff. Uh, the stalker. Yeah, I'll stick with those as well. They're nice, fast assault, very tough. These uh, sentinels, though they lack some of the offensive power of the other units, uh, they do reconstruct once every 120 seconds. Generally, we throw these guys away a little bit faster than that. But uh, I'd like to give it a shot. Uh, the Avenger. Once again, they're nice and efficient. And I don't know what I'm going to be fighting, but it's probably not going to be Zerg. Which I think the other ones are better for. Shield restoration. Let's take the Energizer one. We've seen the other one in action, although it only restored one shield at a time there. 
Uh, but this guy, this guy should be pretty good. And it allows us to not really care about the deploy pylon ability. Solar Lance would undoubtedly be useful. Uh, well, let's look. We got 105. Warp and reinforcements would be pretty good. Uh, and would be pretty good for holding a location, but aren't really required. Uh, that is a pretty quick pick me up, though. Now we will have Stargates and Robox facilities that can warp in. That seems pretty desirable. Orbital Strike, as I recall, is not really bad at all. And we're very likely to be up against a ton of armored units, I would think. And lastly, construction time, I think, is better than starting supply. Hmm. I'm not sure. Let's actually go with starting supply. 5% construction time is like nothing. 20% uh, pretty good. Alright, so let's go in with this brand of kickassery. And that should give us plenty of stomping power. Okay, six minutes, we need one of these celestial, celestial locks. And ten minutes, we need this titanic warp prism that I've heard so little about. Dead. The uh, warp and reinforcement should really help secure this lock. Uh, bring in a couple troop reinforcements after we take it or as we're taking it. Here lies the resting place of the Zelnaga. We must find a way to unseal this access way if we are to awaken them. Grand Preserver, what do you know of the temple in the depths below? Only myth, legend. Here upon Alnar, the destined races will seek ascension. Their very presence shall open the way forward. I believe these celestial locks are the key. Our forces should claim them hopes the way forward presents itself. Hylock, the Taldorim are here. They are taking control of the Celestial Locks. Yeah, what? How did that happen? My voice just broke. Taldorim? Voices demands are clear. Keep the temple sealed. I see. We're actually fighting everything. Did I do it wrong? Our stargates can now warp in phoenixes. They are extremely I did it wrong. and effective at engaging our enemy across long distances. Okay, we're chrono boosting. What can I see here? Okay, there's a lock. Oh, take it within six minutes. This shouldn't be much of a problem. There's another base. Anything over there I should know about? Nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I should get up to sixteen before I start doing other things. Did a number of my shields. Oh, maybe it went on for longer than I thought. Once game 
Sauron's forces have been defeated, our warrior's presence should allow us to lay claim to the lock. Whoa, the UI is a little odd. I vlog myself. I'm such a noob. Wow. Okay, we're about to be neck deep in minerals. Tal'Darim have deployed the Titanic Warp Prism. If its core is similar to our own, the reactor is made of pure solarite. If possible, we should destroy it and claim the reactor to enhance our solar core. Done. Let's try and take this thing. As we said we would. Once we control the other four, the temple will open. Still controlling it. Oh, 
are they warping in that way now? this oh god I don't know if we're gonna get this war prison thing Up is that? Can't tell. Oh, no, it's moving away. like the worst time ever. about the achievement, right? Forget sanity. I don't know if we made it. That was 
with all the time stuff. coming for me. These guys just die and come back, which is convenient. Oh, we haven't been upgrading at all, because we're lame. Is there anything else to get? Destroy the warp prism, activate celestial locks. Let's go for this side of the map, and then I guess we can kind of... Speed bursted phoenixes are terrifying. Be on guard. Amon's servants are moving to seize a lock. If it counts if they die before they work in. Oh, not fast enough. Alright, we're going 
with the one big blob Following approach. Complete. Let's see how we did. Starting to creep up over the half hour limit here, guys. When you're so close to finishing, it's hard to put it down. make it. We didn't make it to the Titanic warp prism. The, um, so, well, that mission, obviously the mixed forces are fantastic. Um, the phoenixes were just utterly fantastic in shutting down all those ground units. Uh, when they do that, the, the zealots can't get at them. So uh, Phoenixes and Stalkers is definitely the way to go. Um, a couple of Zealots to soak some ground damage and take care of like turrets. And they're so the enemy forces are pretty Spartan. So actually getting the Warp Prism achievement wouldn't have been so bad if I had remembered earlier that I needed to do that. But uh, alas. Such is life. I'm sure it'll be much more fun in the brutal mission. Uh, probably have to build base defenses, I would think. Because uh, minerals are in abundance, but uh, mobile troops, not so much. All right. That is it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, remember to do as I say, not as I do. <laughs>